Hi guys, so welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. So in this video, pag-uusapan naman natin dito sa ating probability playlist natin. So sa chapter 5, bilis continuous random variable is yung ating 5.2, the relationship between the cumulative distribution function o yung ating CDF kung naalala niya siya, and the probability density function. Okay, so ito naman yung ating pag-aaralan by, by this time. Okay, so una is just ang sabi sa book or something ang sabi nila, ang relationship unang nila is si CDF. Let's say ito si F. So, alam natin na ito ay CDF o yung o distribution function. Okay? Si CDF is just equal okay, sa probability ng x element ng negative infinity up to positive infinity na yan. Ah, okay. Sorry. Sorry. So, si CDF, since A yan, no? Kamali pa ako na sinulat. So, let's say ito ay A. Kamali si sir. So, ito ay A. Sorry. Since A yung nilagay ko, this is close A dyan. Okay. Again, si F of A, which is CDF, is just equal sa probability x element ng negative infinity up to A close. Okay. So, since kasam, kasama si A. So, therefore, this is just equal sa integral from negative infinity up to A no f of x dx ok, so napansin mo from cdf, so ano yung ibig sabihin sir? ibig sabihin pala sir, pag nag integrate tayo na isang certain function o ng isang density, ng probability density function given na isang boundary ibig sabihin sir, ang sagot doon ni speed, cdf yes, cdf, ok, so baliktaran sila ok, so ibig sabihin another thing pag dineferentiate ko eto, dineferentiate ko rin tong part na to, so again, sulat ko lang ulit na so rewrite ko lang ha, so ito yung cdf natin So, ganito yung PDF. Andito yung PDF natin. So, again, yung PDF, yung nasa loob ng inti yung integrant. Okay? So, sa ating usual na pagkakalam. This is just equal sa integral from negative infinity up to A nung f of x dx. Okay? Next is, pag dineferentiate ko both sides. So, for example, differentiating both sides o differentiate differentiate both side or both sides nung f of a something na ganyan ano mangyari? eto pag dineferentiate ko this is just equal so lalagyan ko lang dito differentiate with respect sa a ya. so this is just equal sa derivative with respect sa a nung f of a next pag dineferentiate ko ang integral alam nyo nangyari so napansin nyo no pag sa integral, dineferentiate ko, literal, ano mangyari? Matatanggal si integral, magdadrop si integral, papasok yung mismong yun. So, this is just, hindi magbabago yung f, hindi siya lalaki, this is just f of a. Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin ni sir? Ang idea na ito is something na, si commutative distrib si distribution function, kung gusto mo siyang palitan into VDF, o for example, meron kang given ng CDF function, gusto mong kunin yung kanyang density function as is, okay? Kasi hindi sa lahat ng oras ganyan eh. Okay, kasi nagbigay ako ng CDF, formula ng CDF. Nangyari, sir, A na ba automatic si PDF? Hindi. Kasi yun nangyari, may integral sa loob eh. Ngayon, anong gagawin mo para mahanap mo yung mismong PDF niya? Ang gagawin mo is i-differentiate mo si CDF. Pag dineferentiate mo si CDF, yung sagot doon is yung PDF. Okay, so meaning kaya kong hanapin yung PDF. Ayun yung unang idea. Another idea. So, ito yung unang way. So, number one na way. So, pangalawang way is just, sabi din ng book. So, sabi... Uh, pwede natin i-approach, so for example, kunin natin yung probability, medyo lakayan ko lang to ha, so probability ng A minus epsilon over 2 less than or equal sa random variable X less than or equal sa A plus epsilon over 2. Okay, and which is this is just equal lang sa epsilon F of A. Okay, so, ay sorry, epsilon yan. Okay, so ngayon, ano si epsilon? So, si epsilon is a positive number. So, again, positive pero smallest as possible na naiisip mo. Okay. So, siya ay positive real number. So, positive real number. So, end real number siya. Again, si epsilon is a positive or smallest positive real number na naiisip mo. So, for example, ako, ang naiisip ko is 0.00009. 
isang classmate mo minaisip, sir, meron po ako naisip, 0.00000000001. At minaisip ka pa, sir, gaya kong lismas litan, we have 0.00000000000. Kung nari, 20-0 or 50-0, then 1. Mas maliit sa kanya. So, meaning, si epsilon is something na arbitrary na nasa imagination natin na kung saan siya ay napakaliit na number. Ang distinction niya is siya ay smallest positive in uh, real number. Sorry. Okay, so yun yung kanyang distinction. So, ano yung sabi? Ang gagawin lang natin is parang inonormalize natin siya or something na iipitin natin yung variable x natin o yung random variable x natin between sa kanyan. So, meaning, solve mo lang yan. Kunin mo yung probability na a minus epsilon over 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal sa a plus epsilon over 2. Ito yan. So, meaning, yung epsilon of f of a, ito yung gagawin natin. Okay, so, ito yung pangalawang way. So, another thing, or mga notation lang natin. So, for example, nakita ko to, f of y of a. So, this is a cdf. So, note ha, this is a cdf. O, commutative distribution function, ano yung random variable niya? Yung random variable niya is y. Okay? Yung element na ginuko, ginagamit niya si A. Okay? For example, counterpart naman, for example, F of Y of A. So, this is PDF kasi small F. Pero, yung random variable pa rin niya is same as random variable Y. So, dapat capital Y. Ah. So, dapat pag naglalagay ka subscript, capital Y. Okay? So, yun yung pinagkaiba. So, pag capital F gamit ko or kunyari iba man, that is a CDF. So, pag in-integrate ko o pag dinifferentiate ko, that is PDF automatic. So, which, which is the same as random variable y. Tapos yung a naman is something na element. So, dito, ibig sabihin naman yan is something na, uh, ah, sorry, dito, ibig sabihin naman nito is something na probability, uh, probability ng y less than or equal to a. So, ito yung pangalan yung ibig sabihin. Okay, so dito wala mo na siyang mindset. So, ito yung kasi una natin. Kasi given dito is pdf, o uh, cdf, sorry, then hanapin natin yung pdf. Okay, so tandaan yan. So, another thing. Sir, paano naman po? Kunyari, given si PDF, paano hanapin si CDF? Okay, so kunyari, given si PDF, paano hanapin si CDF? Pag gusto mo namang hanapin si CDF gamit si PDF, integrate mo si PDF kasi baliktad sila. Okay, so kung gusto mong hanapin si CDF, integrate mo lang yung PDF kung given yung PDF. Okay, tandaan yan. Integrate ko lang si PDF, ayun na aking CDF. Tandaan yan. So, gagamitin naman, gagawin naman natin yan sa mga susunod pa. Okay, so proceed na tayo para makapag uh, lipat agad ako sa ating mga next video. So again, medyo mabilis lang naman tong video na to. Gusto ko lang naman introduce. So may dalawang way, no? So ito yung una. Sabi is differentiate mo lang yung CDF, mahanap mo na yung PDF. Or, inormalize natin using this formula. So, the epsilon f of a is just equal sa probability of a minus epsilon over 2 less than equal sa random variable x less than equal sa a plus epsilon over 2. So, ipitin natin siya. Okay, so, upusit tayo dyan. Example, if x is, a conti x, x is continuous with distribution function f of x, so, again, ha, CDF, capital F siya, tapos ano yung random variable? Ang random variable daw is x. And density function, f of x. So, small f of x naman. So, find the density function of y is equal to 2x. So, ito yung medyo tricky. Given na yung ating CDF, Okay, so may CDF tayo na f of x, pero di natin alam literal, no? So, may, may din tayong density function which is f of x. Okay, so ngayon, ang tanong, find the density function of y is equal to 2x. So, ideally, ito yung una nating hahanapin. So, ang gagawin nyo, since ang pinapahanap is density function, so ano sabi ko sa previous? So, sabi ko sa previous na tinuro ko. Okay, so sorry again, lagay ko lang. Ha. So, ayun na. Sabi, uh, mag-i-start ka sa f of a, doon sa cdf, di-differentiate natin siya, magiging f of a na siya. Okay, so magiging small f of a na siya. So, start tayo sa cdf. Okay, so, cdf natin is y. Yung kasi start natin. So, ito yung unang method 1. So, yung unang solution 1 na lang natin. Solution 1. So, we start with f of capital y of a. So, ito yung start natin. So, sabi ko nga, anong sabi ni Sardon? Kung binigay ko, if f of y of a, pwede natin siya interpret as ganyan. Okay, so this is just interpreted as p, sorry, this is probability of p y less than or equal to a. Next, ano yung y? y is a random variable which is equal sa 2x. 
Okay, so meaning 2x. So this is just equal sa the probability of 2x less than or equal to a. Okay, next is divide both side by 2. So again, nasa loob nung ating probability na yun, pwede tayo mag-operate since random variable naman yung nag-exit. So 2x over 2x is less than or equal to a divide by 2 both side. This is just equal sa probability ng x is less than or equal sa a over 2. Okay, in which, balik natin. So, ayun na, kanina, from f of y of a, ito nangyari. So, ito nangyari. P of x is less than equal to a over 2. Ayun na. So, balik natin doon. This is, gawin natin si df ulit. This is just f of capital X of a over 2. Okay, so, ayun yung idea. So, sa hindi ka pa nagde-differentiate? Hindi pa talaga ako nagde-differentiate kasi nga, ito yung pinapahanap. So, hindi naman kasi pwede gawin ng sir. Solve ko na lang yan. Kaso, given si 2x eh. Okay. So, kailangan kong i-interpret yan. So, nangyari, ginawa ko lang f of y of a. Kinuha ko yung cdf niya. Sinabsute ko yung y na given. Doon ay random variable sa loob. Okay. Then, in-operate ko. Then, naging x na lang siya. So, sin x na siya, ito na siya. So, f of x of a over 2. Okay. So, related na siya dun sa ating function. So, now, anong gagawin? Di-differentiate na natin to. So, differentiate. Differentiate with respect to Uh, sa natin siya di-differentiate? So, differentiate natin siya with respect to A. Okay? So, differentiate with respect to A. Nung F of X of A over 2. So, pag di-differentiate, anong sabi ko? Pag di-differentiate natin sa F of X, syempre, magiging PDF na siya. So, small F. Again, pag di-differentiate ko siya, ngalik siya, maliliit siya. So, magiging small F of X of A over 2. Now, since siya ay meron pang function sa loob, or siya ay parang composite function, di-differentiate pa natin, or di-differentiate pa natin with respect sa A, C, A over 2. Okay, kasi nasa loob siya. So, ang derivative ng A over 2 is just 1 half. So, this is just equal sa, lagay ko yung 1 half dito, tapos small f of x, so malaking x ng A over 2. So, therefore, ito yung kanyang density function. Okay, so again, ayun yung idea. Once na may mga ganyang uh, so minsan, minsan kasi given yung x pero pinapa-evaluate. What is the integral of y? Something like that. So mag-iiba kasi yung idea. So dapat, matuto kang gamitin muna yun. Substitute mo natin yan. Normalize natin. Hanapin natin yung pdf tapos ako ka mag-integrate afterwards. So kung may pinapahanap mo na something. Okay, so now gamitin naman natin yung next na idea which is the uh, Probability is a minus epsilon over 2 less than equal sa x. Okay, then less than equal sa a plus epsilon over 2. Okay, so anong gagawin natin dyan? Uh, Siyempre, sasolve natin ulit si ef of y. Okay, so ang nahanap natin is f of y something. Okay, so using yung isang idea, sabi, solution to, lagay ko na lang. So ang sabi, ang pinapahanap is epsilon of f of y of a. Okay, so yan yung pinapasolve. Okay, so again, ano to? 1 half of f of x, this is just equal sa f of y of a. So, yan yun. Ayan lang yung sagot niya. Ayan yung cdf. In terms of x. Kasi in terms of x, y, y. Okay, so ayan yung sagot niya. So, ito naman yung nahap natin. Epsilon of f of y. So, sabi, that is the probability. This is just the probability of a. So, which is a minus Epsilon over 2 less than or equal sa y. Kasi y yung binigay ko. Less than or equal sa a plus epsilon over 2. Now, substitute ulit natin yung y is equal to 2x. Kasi papalitan natin siya doon. So, this is just equal sa probability ng a minus epsilon over 2 less than or equal sa 2x. So, capital X minus a uh, less than or equal sa a plus epsilon over 2. Okay, so ano next na gagawin? Uh, divide both side by 2. Tama ba? So, pag dinivide ko siya both side by 2, ano mangyari? This is just equal sa probability ng a over 2 minus epsilon over 4. Less than or equal sa x. Less than or equal sa a over 2 plus epsilon over 4. Okay, so, paano natin gagawin yung sunod dyan? So, ayun, napansin mo na, no? Ito nangyari. Itong part na to, yung epsilon f of y a, siya ay pwedeng interpret as, 
Kunyari, yung a is a minus epsilon over 2 tapos y. Yung random variable y. Ngayon, ito na yung nangyari. Ang nangyari na, yung a na natin dito is a over 2. Again ha, yung a na natin dito, na part natin, ito na yung mismong a natin, ito na yung isang, ito na yung isang a natin. Tapos, yung y na natin, napetan as x. Okay, so ano ibig sabihin? This is just equal sa, uh, gawin natin no, so this is just equal sa f of x. Nga? So, hindi ko masot yung epsilon kasi hindi na makasama dun eh. So, dito lang talaga yun eh. So, f of random variable x of a over 2. Okay, a over 2. Then, siyempre, ay pala, sorry, di ba may epsilon? So, ngayon, ano yung epsilon dito? Yung epsilon natin dito is epsilon over something na, uh, di ba, ito nangyari, ito epsilon. Nangyari, yung epsilon na yan is magiging epsilon over 2 pagpasok sa loob. Ngayon, ano naman dito? Since epsilon over 4 siya, paglabas niya sa loob, epsilon over 2 siya. So, dapat ito ay epsilon over 2. Okay, so ulitin ko lang. Eh di ha, takpang ko lang ulit. So medyo tricky kasi. Sorry. Girap i-explain. So again, starting tayo. From epsilon f of y of a, ito yung function niya. So nangyari, so, paano mo nalaman? Yung a, ayun sa unahan, a, tas a. Tapos yung epsilon sa labas, naging epsilon over 2, epsilon over 2. Okay, so yan yung ibig sabihin yan. Okay, so another, siguro magbigay ako example pa na iba, no? So, paano ba mga ano? Interpret. Hirap kasi. So, for example, nagbigay ulit si Sir, no? Kunyari, meron akong epsilon, o kunyari, uh, 2 epsilon, tapos, f of, kunyari, w, tapos ng 3. So, yung pag yan ginawa natin, ang mangyari dyan, this is just equal sa, so, sorry, ha, medyo okay lang. This is just, so, ano yung a latin? A latin dito is 3, minus, ano yung epsilon? 2 epsilon over 2, laging di-divide by 2. So, this is 2 epsilon over 2, less than or equal sa w na less than or equal sa 3 plus 2 epsilon over 2. Ganun siya i-interpret. Okay, so, reverse part din, ganun nangyari. So, dito, reverse part, ito nangyari, tinara ko na lang yung x, kasi ngayon, ito nangyari. Yung a na lang natin is a over 2, a over 2. Yung epsilon over 4 natin, paglabas nyan, that is something dapat epsilon over 2. Bakit? Si epsilon over 2, pag binalik natin doon, kailangan, si epsilon over 2, di divide natin sa 2. So, epsilon over 2 divided by 2, epsilon over 4. So, meaning, ayun yung tama yung ginawa ni sir dito. Okay, so, so, sana nag-get yung idea ni sir. So, inulit ko. So, this is epsilon, f of y of a. So, now, divide both side by epsilon. So, obviously, cancel na lang yung epsilon. So, meaning, f of y of a is just equal sa 1 half na lang to. Tapos, f of x of a over 2, which is the same dun sa kabila. Okay? So, hoping na nag-gets mo yung idea nung paggamit natin dito nung solution number 2. Okay? So, again, thank you for watching. Hoping na panoorin mo pa yung next video natin which is expectation and variance of a continuous random variable.